This video I'm going to show how to track PTO on the Project Insight calendar. In this example I'm going to go into my site here. I'm going to use the calendar which in the drop down, main insight drop down is available here. Um, you can see on the month I've got a couple of PTO days showing for some users. Just one user right now. I'm going to show how you can have team members add their PTO on their own PTO calendar and how to show how you can see that as um, the leader of their department. So first off, I'm going to go into the departments feature in PI and you'll notice that I am the leader of the IT department. So that means anyone that has the IT department in their profile, I am going to see if I go back to the calendar and I go to the display options on the calendar. I have this checkbox check to include department PTO and non-working days. So that means that anyone in the IT department, because I am the leader of the IT department, anyone who has that in their profile, that department in their profile, I will see the PTO that they have marked. So if I go back to August, I go to Milton, he is that user that we're going to look at. We can also also have Henry Tech here. So if I go ahead and impersonate Henry Tech, and just to verify, Henry Tech is in the IT department. Now this is showing what it's going to do for the specific users so that they can actually manage their own PTO. I'm in as Henry. I can put in PTO into my schedule as Henry can put in maybe the 9th, 10th, and maybe half of the 11th as PTO days. Now if I stop impersonating Henry and go back in as myself to the calendar, let's go up to August again, you can see those are Milton's PTO days and these are Henry Tech's PTO days. He's got all day, all day, and then Wednesday from eight to noon, half day. You also note that, of course, I still have my tasks on here for those tasks that are assigned to me. You can also include the details of those tasks if I want to. The last thing about the PTO is if you'd like to see um, the department leader PTO days, since I am an admin, in the site, I have this option. I can actually include, if I say, include leader PTO days, then what that is going to include is if I go back to my departments, what that is going to include is the other leaders of departments. So say, in this example, Bill Bixby is the department leader of the marketing. So that means I'm going to see Bill Bixby's um, PTO days. It also means that Michael Sysadmin, I will see his PTO days as well. That's what that other checkbox does, is it will show the leader P of the department leader PTO days, and this one will show those who are in my department. That's been an overview of how the calendar works with tracking PTO, and feel free to check out the future more.